John came into the class very soft-spoken. You would say he was the epitome of being shy. I think part of that was just trying to make sure he fit into the class. It became very apparent early on that he did. One of the very first things that I noticed about Jonathan was his resilience. He had overcome so much in his life, but yet he woke up every day with a drive that I rarely see in someone. I was living at a transitional center for addictions and uh, I had a drinking problem. I never did drugs or nothing like that. I just picked up drinking and got real bad, especially when I was out in Texas. Uh, Cause that's all I did was work, come home and drink, go the same thing, go to work. He had spent some time down in the oil fields in Texas. It's hard work. It's a lot of travel. Sometimes you have a lot of time off and you have maybe a lot of time on your own. Jonathan found that that was not a really good mix for him. He was making some good money, but he was far from his family. And family is something that is very important to him. Growing up in a Mexican family, whenever we have the slightest little thing to come together, ever since I was little, that's all we would do. And uh, as I'm getting older, I'm slowly starting to see some relatives pass away and it's making me realize not to take my uncles and aunts for granted. So, I mean, I came back home, went into rehab. Uh, while I was in rehab, that's how I came across the Goodwill. John came to the class after work every day and he was riding his bike, even on those cold November and early December days. It's one of those things that warms your heart as an educator because you know the person really does want to be there. It's definitely helped me keep in mind of what I want to do. Chuck and Ryan, they help me out a lot. You know, they help motivate me to keep going, strive for better. I am so proud of Jonathan's progress. I see nothing but amazing things in his future. John's story is a testament to the power of work because of his dedication to his family, to himself, to figure out who he is and where he wants to go along this journey. I'm already getting up in age to where I want to start a family here pretty soon, getting married, having some kids, and then prosper from there.